When I was caught stealing in a store, yeah, I know, I know. And my mom looked at me like, what is you doing? You got mad money on you and you stealing earrings? Actually, it was 59 plus 69, I don't know. You could say my breast, damn. That's, is that TMI? I said I hey welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is brianna and today's video i'm going to be doing like q a type of video i haven't done one of these in like a really long time maybe over a year i'm gonna link my last q a video that i did but yeah so if you're new to my channel or you've been watching my channel this is just a chance for you guys to get to know me a little bit more. So I just picked up like some questions that I found on Google to answer today. Um, if you see me looking down, it's because I have my laptop right here. If you see me looking this way, it's because I'm looking at myself as I'm recording on my iPad. So yeah. So let's get started. First question, what is your favorite place to go on vacation? So, as you've seen on my channel, if you scroll on my channel, you've seen I went to like a few places that I vlogged. I'd say the favorite place that I have been is, well, this is not on my channel because this is before I started YouTube. So, my favorite place that I went was Jamaica. I loved, loved Jamaica. I went to Montego Bay, Jamaica. Oh, it was so beautiful there. The experience was A1. Another place that I really liked that I went was London. London was amazing. It was beautiful. It was everything that I could have imagined it to be. Beautiful place. How many countries have you been to? That's a good question. So I've been to Jamaica, London, Italy, Iceland, Sinkits. It's too much to say just because I've also been on cruises that went to other countries. So it's too much to say. So I'm gonna actually pop up here from my Instagram in my story highlights where I have been. I'm really sorry. So yeah, it's too much to say. What is your favorite TV show? So I have a lot of favorite TV shows. But I would say right now my favorite TV show is all the Law and Orders, Chef's Kiss. I love Blacklist. I know they're coming out with their final season, February 26th. I cannot wait. I love La Brea. That's on TV right now. So yeah, that's for now, that's my favorite TV shows. Have you ever met a celebrity? No, not really. When I went to LA, I saw Boris Kojo and his wife. What's his wife's name? I don't remember his wife's name. I'm gonna pop a picture of her right here. I don't remember her name, but yeah. They were riding by me on, like we were riding scooters on, you know, on Venice Beach down Santa Monica, um, that little bike lane, scooter lane, and they were riding their bike right past us. So I saw them. Who else have I seen in person? That's about it. <laughs> I seen Cassie in person in a, in a Dwayne Reed. Without her glitz and glam and makeup, I saw her in person. And Dwayne Reed in New York City in Manhattan. Who else have I seen in person? That's about it that I can really think of right now. So yeah, how many shoes do you have? I have too many damn shoes to count. For a person that has only two feet, why do I have so many shoes? I have so many sneakers. I'm a, uh, here, I'm gonna answer how many sneakers I have. You're just gonna see my like sneaker shelf. I got too many damn sneakers and I don't even wear them. Shoes is ridiculous. So too many to count for a person who only has two feet. How many kids do you want? I want two kids. I would say one kid, but because I want my kid to have, you know, like a lifetime best friend, because I know how it is to be an only child for a while. So it can be lonely sometimes. So I only want to have two kids just so my first child can have a sibling, a best friend, someone to play with. Yeah. What's the last movie you cried to? Oh my God. This movie has me bawling every time that i watched it the last time that i watched it which was a few months ago i was bawling so hard harder than i've ever cried before and it's the movie midnight sun i'll pop a picture of the movie poster right here that movie um it's with bella thorne and patrick schwarzenegger 
that movie is so so sad like that movie will have you bowling if you were a crier just know you're gonna cry it's a great movie but you will cry have you ever shot a gun? Yes, I have. Um, years ago, I sh went to a gun range in Pennsylvania, and I was doing, I was shooting guns. So yeah, that's about it. I want to go to a gun range in my future, but I, I never seem to can get to one. Um, so yeah, I really want to go to another gun range because I actually enjoyed it. Which movie did you last watch? The movie I last watched was Step Up. I saw that um, last weekend when I was at work. Um, I was bored and I just decided to watch Step Up, the first one. That first Step Up movie is a classic with Jenna Dewan and Channing Tatum. I love that movie. Do you, do you enjoy roller coasters to a certain extent? Now, I like Six Flags and Dorney Park and all them, yeah, but it has to be a certain type of roller coaster. Like, I can't just get on a roller coaster just because, like, I will never get on the Kingdom Car at Six Flags. The Joker at Six Flags, Great Adventure, the one in Jersey, I will never get on ever again because that roller coaster was horrible. I don't like roller coasters that have that big, long dip that just drops down. My stomach can't take it. It's too... The El Toro in Six Flags, Great Adventure in Jersey, I will never get on again. Uh, the Nitro, I'm good on that. Like, I don't like them fast, them drop down. I don't like none of that. Now, I could do some loops. I could do the Superman. I could do the Batman. I could do the Green Lantern. Those those roller coasters and loops, I can do those. But anything that just drops really hard down, I can't mess with. I can't stand those roller coasters that have that bar that comes in front of you and that's it. I hate those. Like, what am I supposed to do with that bar in front of me? So I like roller coasters that has the thing that comes over you like that. So I can have something to hold on to. But yeah, I do roller coasters to a certain extent. Who's your celebrity crush? I do not have a celebrity crush. Celebrities piss me off sometimes. I definitely don't have a celebrity crush. What is your pet peeve? I have a lot of pet peeves. Pet peeves of if you smell, bad hygiene, bad breath. Yeah, I'm big on smells. I hate when you smell. I hate when people chew loud. I hate people that spit when they talk. Even though I do it sometimes, but by accident. But when you're always spitting when you talk, all right, all right. Then I got a lot of pet peeves. That's what it, that comes to my mind right now. What is a talent nobody knows you have? Now, I don't have a lot of talents. A lot of people don't know I could do the split. <laughs> Even though that's kind of regular now. I feel like everybody's doing the split now. But whatever. And that I can move my ears. Now, let me get back to the camera so I can show you guys. Oh, by the way, earrings. I know these earrings are so cute. They're um coming soon to my yeah jewelry line that I'm starting. But yeah, I can move my ears. As you can see. Wait, my headband is moving. Wait. Am I doing it good? See? And I can move the other one too. And I can move them like one at a time like... I don't know if you can see it but yeah i can move them like one at a time i can move them both at a time um yeah i can move my my ears i guess you could call it a talent because when i show people that i can move my ears they'd be like what the hell so yeah do you enjoy shopping at the mall or online i would say online um because it's easier but then i would say in the mall because I like shopping where I can try on the clothes. Now, when I shop online, it's a big risk because, you know, I ain't the thinnest girl. And, you know, I'm just like certain things don't fit right. Like some something might not fit my boobs or my butt or my thighs or my hips or whatever, you know. So I just you take a real gamble when you shop online. So I like being able to try it on before I buy it. So Online because it's easier, but in the mall because I can try it on. What do you miss most about being younger? Not having bills. I'm tired of bills. That's one thing in life that won't stop coming is bills. That bill is always going to be due every month, on the month, on time. I hate adulting. Like, why do we have to be adults? I don't know. Like, I really missed when I was a kid. And I had no worries in the world. Like, why did I want to grow up so bad? I don't know. I regret wanting to grow up so bad. Because now that I'm grown up, I'm damn near almost 30. Damn. I hate it. I don't like adulting. I want to go back to when times were simpler. No bills. Everything was handed to me. 
it, yeah so no what is the most trouble you've been in <laughs> so i would say the most trouble i've ever been in is when i was caught stealing in a store yeah i know i know listen i remember and this was so dumb now that i look back this was so dumb i remember me and my mom went to this store called pay half i don't even know if it exists still but yeah it was a store that was called pay half and me and my mom we went in the store and we were shopping whatever so my dumb ass starts stealing the earrings in the store why i was doing that that was so dumb because it's just like like there's not cameras so i just started taking like the earrings out of the packaging and like putting them in my bag right and i'm just doing that to like i don't remember how many earrings i even stole but whatever i was doing that while my mom was shopping so once we got to the exit the guy the security guard in there stops us and he was like oh you got stuff in your bag i'm like what you talking about so my mom is looking like what are you talking about like she ain't got nothing in her bag boom we she emptied out my bag that earrings start falling out i believe that's what happened like earrings start either fell out or like you can see the earrings of my bag and my mom looked at me like what is you doing you got mad money on you and you stealing earrings when i look back at that it was so dumb and then we had to go to the back and they had to take my picture talking about i'm banned from the store and it's funny years later i went back to the store as an adult but yeah they had to take my picture it was so embarrassing and it was so stupid yeah that's the most trouble i've ever been in like i've never been in trouble with the police the most i ever have an interaction with the police is if i get a ticket driving or something but nah i don't have no interactions with police or nothing like that like that's the only most trouble i've been in and it wasn't trouble with the law it's trouble when i got home <laughs> stealing from pay half that was so dumb but yeah oh my god when i look back at that i'm like for some earrings it w all right some cheap earrings too coffee or tea tea what was your best subject in school english like i've always been a good writer I've always been a good, like, good at telling stories, writing, all of that. Math, I I can't do math to save my Even now, as an adult, I cannot do no math. My math is trash. Like, ask me what's 59 plus 69. I don't know. Would you rather be able to fly or be invisible? I would like to be invisible. So, I like to be invisible when I go outside now. Like, I like to go outside and nobody see me. But it would be nice to be able to fly so I don't have to pay for public transportation. And I could get somewhere fast. So, yeah. How many pets do you want? I'm, I'm not really a pet person. Never really been an animal person. So, I would say zero. What do you think is your best feature? I would say my eyes. Because, <laughs> I, I, yeah, my eyes. I've been told my eyes. But I, I like my eyes. And I would say, I guess you could say my breast. Damn. That's, is that TMI? whatever and my legs what is something you want to improve on i would love to improve on my procrastination like when i tell you i procrastinate a lot it's insane like i wish i can improve on procrastination and also i wish i can improve improve on my time management like i feel like time gets away from me so fast that i don't get certain things done so i wish i was better on procrastination and my time management where will you be in five years hopefully married with children five years mm, maybe yeah maybe married with children hopefully have you ever been arrested no thank god what is the dumbest thing you've ever done um some of relationships that i've been in <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say have you ever ding dong ditched yes i have <laughs> yes i have what sport is the most exciting to watch? I would say basketball, football. I'm getting into learning the ins and outs of football because of my boyfriend. That axe throwing thing that they be doing, that looks really fun to watch. Um, I actually want to do that in real life one day. That's all I can think of for now. What sport is most boring to watch? Baseball. I can say that whole heart, baseball. Can I watch baseball on TV? No. I've been to a Yankee game at the Yankee Stadium boring I, I fell asleep actually when i went 
what is your nightly routine i have a extensive nightly routine i'm gonna put my light routine here um i'm actually put a card here you know and i'll also leave it down below of my night routine what is your morning routine my morning routine is i think i showed a little bit of it uh waking up brushing my teeth washing my face I'll, I'll 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 put it here um a little bit of my morning routine and i even leave a card and i'll leave it down below <laughs> do you consume a lot of caffeine no i don't i'm not very much of a coffee drinker i'll have caffeine maybe a few times a year what's your favorite breakfast food pancakes pancake me up i love pancakes <sighs> Oh, this is a good question. Have you ever been put under for surgery? No, I haven't. Thank God. I lived almost 30 years of life and I never had to do any type of surgery. Oh my God. I hope I hope it stays like that. Because I am so scared of surgery. Like, that's probably one of the reasons I would never, like, get any type of my body done. Like a BBL, liposuction, any of that. Like, I am too scared to go under for surgery. Like, that anesthesia, like, no. Like, keep me awake. Like, I surgery is such a big risk so i don't understand why people voluntarily get surgery if it's life-threatening and i have to do it yeah i would do it but other than that no don't put me under for surgery for no reason like i'm good i'm good do you like cold or warm weather better i love warm weather like oh i love it cold weather miss me with that i hate the cold i hate being cold i hate winter time like all of that comes from the person that just went to Iceland but whatever it wasn't even that cold but yeah I am not a cold person like give me warm weather give me anything that's warm I always say I'd rather be warm or I'd rather be hot than cold but yeah that's all the questions for now that I'm gonna answer so let me close this so oh close that real quick um so yeah thank you for watching my q a i hope you guys enjoy make sure you subscribe to my channel put on your post notifications i always forget to say that like this video and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye